What's up guys, I'm Luke and this is my story. So, I was the kid that uh, grew up in a Christian home, uh, went to church every Sunday with my family, but I would go for more of the aspect of hanging out with friends and playing tag with friends and just catching up with friends. Um, and I wouldn't really get much out of uh, the sermons um, and just never really paid attention to them. Um, so skipping ahead to high school, uh, my freshman year, my sister would always nag at me to go to this thing called Young Life. And I just always put it off. I didn't want anything to do with it. I didn't know what it was about, and I did not want to check it out. Um, so finally, though, I gave in because she would always nag at me. And uh, I loved it, man. I loved the games about it. I thought the skits were hilarious. And interesting enough, I found the talks to be more intriguing than they normally were at church, uh, which is pretty big for me. Um, so before I knew it, I was going to summer camp uh, freshman year, at the end of my freshman year. And I liked it a lot, and I got a lot out of it. Um, and I got really close with our young life leader there, and I kind of looked up to him like an older brother, and I really trusted him a lot. And for whatever reason, he left Young Life really random um, and just went to take care of something else, and I was never sure what that was. Um, but because of that, I just was opposed to Young Life. I felt really betrayed and just backstabbed, and I didn't want anything to do with Young Life after that. Um, but the next year, we got a new Young Life leader, and his name was Carl, and he'd come to the school every day pretty much and would just ask everyone how they were doing and would check in with everybody, and I would do whatever I could to avoid this guy. Um, but he always found a way to get to me, and I'd always you know, just give him a blank stare and just say hi and walk away, and that was about it. Um, but he was just very consistent, and eventually he asked me to come to Young Life again, and I'm, you know, I told him I'd be there. Um, in the night of Young Life Club, I... He asked me if I was coming, and I was like, oh, I have a stomach ache, and I didn't end up coming. And, you know, to my surprise, I thought Carl was going to really chew me out for it and not be too happy with me about it. But he was really loving and understanding and caring about it and just told me not to worry about it and said maybe next week. And, and that surprised me a lot. Um, so I came next week, and I was there, and I, I loved it again. I thought the games were awesome again, and I thought the skits were really funny again. And once again, I really got a lot out of the talks. Um, and so before I knew it, Carl uh, cleverly had me involved with the skits because he knew that that would get me coming every week. And um, I got more and more involved with Young Life by that. Um, but my senior year, uh, so I got, a, I got a girlfriend and I got really involved with her. Um, and I just put everything aside. I put my friends aside. I put my family aside. Um, I put soccer aside. And worst of all, I put my relationship with the Lord aside. Um, and I just put everything I had. I, I put my hopes and my desires into this girl. And just loved everything about her, um, and so things started to change slowly. They got uh, a little, a little worse and worse as it, as time went on, um, and because of that, I lost my sense of appetite and I lost all my energy. I never wanted to work out, or I never really wanted to put any focus into schoolwork, and um, and we get into so many fights that I'd constantly want to take naps to make the day go by faster, so those fights would just be shorter. Um, and it got so bad that my parents took me to the hospital and they thought I had mono. Um, and those, those results ended up being false. I didn't have mono. Um, and it turns out, now that I think about it, I was just really depressed and I was just broken without the Lord. Um, I remember there was one night, it got so bad, that I just hit up Carl and I was like, hey man, like I really need someone to talk to right now because I've been holding everything in for so long. Um, and I mean, Carl was there for me in no time. And it was just a really cool moment for me to just pour everything out to him and tell him what I was going through and how broken and lost I was and how badly I needed the Lord back into my life. Um, so we both prayed about it. And sure enough, the Lord gave me the strength and the encouragement to just break up with my girlfriend. And from there, I just went so hard for him. Like I went to every Young Life Club, every campaigners, and I was bringing in as many kids as I could because I wanted to change so much about the high school I was at. I didn't want any of those guys to go through what I went through. Um, so I did whatever I could to help them out and to show them that the Lord loves them so much and He desperately wants a relationship with every single one of them. So as time went on, I got the opportunity to lead uh, a Young Life camp with Carl at Lake Champion uh, the summer after my senior year. And that was just an incredible opportunity for me because I grew so much more than I thought I would, and it was just a huge momentum shift for me. Um, and I went into Christopher Newport University, and I decided I wanted to become a Young Life leader. And now I proudly can call myself a Young Life leader at Tab High School, and I'm so blessed for it. 
Um, and it's just been incredible. Uh, the Lord constantly gives me encouragement and gives me strength to go in and meet new kids every day. And I'm just very blessed by it. And uh, that's pretty much my story. Um, I was broken and lost without him. And because he was always there for me and came back to me, I was able to pick my relationship back up with the Lord. And I'm just so blessed by it. So thanks for listening.